words matter. And he who controls the dialogue of the truth and belief systems has all the power. That's why religion has become so powerful because it's mind control, controlling people's minds. And I'm not talking about belief in Christ because everybody should be able to pick up a Bible and believe something and believe in Christ, which I do. What I'm talking about is the organization called religion, where they tell you you have to come to church and they tell you you have to give 10 percent. And they tell you that you're not a good Christian if you don't do this, this, and that, and go down the checklist. That's what I'm talking about. And this is why the enemy controls religion. Because they control people through controlling religion. Through the former President Johnson, he single-handedly erased, declawed, and took all the teeth out of God's people with the stroke of a pen. It's called the 501c3. And when he signed that, he said to all churches, nonprofits, we'll give you a tax break if you stop talking about religion and politics. And don't get involved in elections. And don't talk about abortion anymore. And don't talk about war anymore. And then you get a tax break. All the things that really matter to God, they took it away with the stroke of a pen. We don't comply. We don't consent to this. The, the amount of people on YouTube now that have some level of awareness is so great that it's tipped the scales. If they try to make conspiracy videos go away, they're in for a rude awakening. More people are awake than you know. They just don't oftentimes comment. Why do you think they're imposing this stuff? They're imposing it because they're losing control. But what they don't understand is the snowball has already made it halfway down the hill. And it ain't stopping. that they're going to try to take it away basically is going to show their hand which will intensify their resistance and that is where we will see other platforms rise up what has trump done to stop this i haven't seen any executive orders against google just to knock it off knock off all the censorship and we hear all this stuff about fake news but then we get rolled into all of that He's inadvertently labeling us with the fake news because the left uses that to describe us. You're spreading reality and the truth will set you free. That's a promise. Why? Because Jesus said that. So you're talking about the truth. I don't hate these people. I love everybody, but also the truth will set you free. Loving someone is telling them the truth. That is the ultimate form of love. 